So you may write a script that looks like this. Once upon a time, there was this mega intelligent guy named Siddharth. Siddharth was so intelligent that everything he read, he would remember and he would understand so well that every time he went to the exam and wrote an exam, his examiners would be blown away by his intelligence. All his friends, Shruti, Kamal and Sophia used to always ask him, how are you so intelligent? Hi and welcome everyone. My name is Kartika Nayar and you're watching Synchro Shakti. To master the following technique, you will need a notebook, a pen and your creativity and a lot of childlike fun energy. So let's get started. Today we're going to look at uh, Abraham Hicks's scripting process and I've added a few little twists to make it even more uh, easy for you to do and to have a lot more fun while doing it. Okay, so let's look at scripting with a twist. So scripting essentially is an exercise where you're scripting this blockbuster movie script. Okay, so you remember the movies from the 90s, let's say 90s Bollywood movie, there is this main character, let's call him Rahul. And Rahul was this underdog, you know, this misunderstood character who didn't have everything that he wanted. And then he goes through this journey, right? And then at the end, he has the woman of his life, he moves to this amazing country or he moves to his uh, dream life, he starts living living the dream life and you see his whole story right you see his whole journey and we're so captivated by the story that every time Rahul wins we are also celebrating with Rahul and we're feeling so happy right that is the power of a story power of a script now we're going to do the exact same thing okay but we're going to put the main character as us so I'll give you an example let's say I'm the one scripting okay and I'm creating my my storyline so I might say I might write. Once upon a time, there was this South Indian girl named Kartika Nayar who lived in a quaint little village in Croatia. Kartika used to have big dreams of hosting huge uh, conventions where she would have rock stars on stage rocking it out and making her audience dance and feel so high. Kartika also used to host these soulful music concerts where people around the world used to come to melt in love and learn the teachings of mindfulness and creativity manifestation through the music. And they would get up from these concerts feeling so energized with love, with divine energy, knowing how to create the life of their dreams. And they would go on from those concerts to create the life of their dreams. And she used to always hear back from them years later on how amazing uh, their lives were because of the lessons that they learned. Now I just walked you through a storyline, right? This is a basic storyline. So let's say I write the story. The next day, what do I do after I write the story? Now I can either continue that story into other areas of my life, or I could add, I could keep the same story and add more things into the same story. So I might say, for example, if I want to continue the story the next day, I could talk about Kartika's health or Kartika's financial health or Kartika's business or Kartika's family or Kartika's friends and Kartika's friends were like this and this is how it happened and Kartika's family was like this and this is what happened. So I can create more of these stories and, and you can just disguise the limit as to what you can write and enjoy the process of writing the script. Now let's say I want to keep the story brief and to what I, you know, the same story I told you and I want to add elements to the story every day to make me feel even more better. So I might say something like, because she, Kartika, had a very long history in music, it was very easy for her to write the right songs that would empower her audience. So now I've added one more element to the existing story. I might also add something like, let's say, Let's say your name is uh, Siddharth, okay? If you're a Siddharth, comment below saying I'm a Siddharth, okay? Let's say you're, you are a Siddharth and your goal is to crack a certain exam, okay? So you may write a script that looks like this. So you may say, once upon a time, there was this mega intelligent guy named Siddharth. Siddharth was so intelligent that everything he read, he would remember and he would understand so well that every time he went to the exam and wrote an exam, his examiners would be blown away by his intelligence. All his friends, 
Shruti, Kamal and Sophia used to always ask him, how are you so intelligent? We are so at awe at your intelligence. And he used to always feel shy but also kind of proud about his own intelligence. He was so happy about exams because of how fun it was for him to study that he would just look forward to the next exam and keep rocking it every single time. Exams used to make him so high. Now I've given you the feeling that Siddharth is experiencing as he's writing this, this script. So now let's say I'll give you another example. Let's say your name is Shruti. Okay, if you're a Shruti, just type I'm a Shruti in the comments. Let's say you're a Shruti and your dream is to have this beautiful wedding. So you may write, once upon a time, there was this beautiful girl named Shruti who met the love of her life. And he used to be such a amazing friend and confidant to her. Every day she would see a love note from him written and it says, have a lovely day, I love you. And she would love these love notes so much. She and him were so close that it felt like their married life was more of a dating life. And it just felt so good to have him around her. And she had this amazing marriage where her family loved him so much. Her family loved him probably more than more or almost equal to how much they loved her. You see how I'm creating the story. So then the next day Shruti may add to the story and talk about her, you know, the, the rest of her life she may script or she may add more elements to the story. And then she continues to write it every single day until the story is done. Okay, there's nothing else you can add to the story. So now what happens if you're done writing your story? What do I do next? There are two things. Firstly, if you're done writing the story, it feels good to you, you had a lot of fun doing it, then just study the story. Every day study it, internalize it until your subconscious mind believes that this is truly your story. And the moment your subconscious mind believes this is your story, it is done. That is all creative work is. Most of the time we don't manifest what we want because we have this one version of what we want, but we have 50,000 opposing thoughts to it. For example, Siddharth might write the story that says, I am this mega intelligent person. And then boom, one voice will come saying, but you're so stupid. Boom, you failed 10 times in the past. Boom, nobody really likes you or acknowledges you. Boom, everyone cuts you off when you talk. So how are they going to admire you? All these, your previous sense of self is going to come up. Your subconscious, your subconscious self-concept is going to come up. So what do we do in that case? We're going to change or pivot that particular thought in a way that is going to make us believe the story even more and we're going to add that into the story i'll explain so let's say the sto this this thought comes up of you failed 10 times before in this exam what makes you think you'll pass this time let's say that's the thought so then you may write in the story that says you know siddharth used to think that because he failed 10 times in the past that he couldn't create a better future but then he realized one day he watched a video on scripting on YouTube and he, real he realized that the grace of the universe brought him that video and he realized that the past 10 times that he failed was just so that he could come across this video and realize that every moment is a brand new moment every moment is a new birth the past does not equal the future and now he started thinking that if I could just change my self concept I could change my destiny and as he felt that energy behind this feeling of changing his destiny everything changed for him now i just added that into the story you see how powerful that is so whatever fears and negativity is coming up just find a way to pivot that and add and create lines in the story that totally break down those fears and add a new element of empowerment in your story so once you're done writing your story all you have to do Oh my God, eight minutes. <laughs> All you have to do is, and the sun is shining, sun is shining, the weather is cold. <laughs> okay. So all you have to do is learn your story once you've written it. And whenever you're inspired to add more stuff to the story, just write, okay? So take a new book called the scripting book and just add new elements to your story, okay? Let's say you're walking down the street and somebody, you know, didn't acknowledge you and that's and you felt really bad now you can add into the script uh, something like you know if people didn't acknowledge uh, this shruti she was so peaceful in her heart she had nothing but understanding for them so that's one thing or she could also write you know a lot of people would stop to acknowledge her whatever reality she wants 
uh, she could write in there right so throughout your day whenever you're seeing things that you don't want in your life you can pivot that inside of your script and you can add that into your script okay so one final one let's say if it is money you know let's say if it's someone who is looking for a better business uh, results let's say your name is sonam and you have this amazing uh, business idea amazing business but you can't see yourself as your self worth you don't see the worth of your business and therefore you're not really getting uh, a lot of money so sonam might write a script that says uh, once upon a time there was this na- girl named sonam sonam was so full of service in her heart she really wanted to give back to people she really wanted to change people's lives but she was struggling with money until one day she realized the money was just an energy and she started practicing her self worth and her self belief so much that she became a natural magnet to money now you've created the script okay and then you can keep adding to it that is basically scripting okay so by the way since we're talking about money i must plug in something here Earlier this year Synchro Shakti Academy did this class called Mastering Your Money Energy it was a bomb hit after that we did another class earlier this month we did another class called Keys to Prosperous Thinking it was another bomb hit and then now we're doing one more new brand new class that I've never taught before again money class and this one is called Aligning to Abundance it's a new class brand new this is the first time I'm talking about it uh, publicly This is a 90 minute special to align yourself practically and live so I'm going to give you live guidance to align yourself to the energy of money money is something that comes very easy to me and to most of our students because they're just basic things you just need to learn to pull up your own sense of self and learn to tap into what it feels like to have a large sum of money a large sum of money surrounding you so we're doing this live class if money is a game for you if you trust us and our branding and you think that we are we are the right people to guide you please come to for the class it's in the link is in the reg- description the class is happening on the 14th the 21st and the 26th of november uh, so you can attend any one of those days you can go ahead and register now there is limiting seating because uh, well i'm using a webinar software so i don't have unlimited seats there is limiting seat limited seating so if you want to come for that please come there will be replays this time because we're coming towards the end of the month we don't really have that many live classes planned out so there will be replays but the live amazing energetic experience happens when you're actually there live so be there 7 pm indian standard time uh, register below okay so now if you're going to be practicing the scripting method and you're excited to have fun with it like last night i just i sat by the window sill I was looking out into the night sky and I was having a ball of a time writing the script. I wrote for three pages, and I only and today I'm going to continue and like have so much fun with it. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and please let me know in the comments below if you're going to script. Write down everything and everyone prospers me. Okay, if you're going to script, if you're not going to script, don't. It's okay, no problem. Also, I love you. Have great time scripting and uh, wishing you all. Uh, amazing success in every single one of your lives amazing happiness and amazing success love you thank you so much for watching and namaste